Welcome. Okay, time to open up pack out free add on pledge. I think the only problem I'm, I'm foreseeing is that it's all of these. Which, except for the Hunter's Arsenal, all these require wings. And considering how well the wings went on with the two box game ones, I'm a little afraid. So I went and wiggled the Diablo spawns into place, um, but they were still quite obviously on, but not in fully the slots, um, which was not great. Um, but I could get one of the wings fully on, but then it wasn't as easy to pop up, pop up, pop off. Which, considering you need to be able to easily pop them on and pop them off as you transport the game, it didn't really make much sense. Um, that I was struggling. Unless you're somebody who's going to be putting them in place and leaving them in place. You're, um, potentially in for a bit of a problem. Kushladara, Monsters, Azura or Boss, Bakhti Ablos, and just an entire box. Nega Bakhti. Nega Ganti. Is there everything for this box, Dad? Five items. One, two, three, four. Tiestra? Tiestra is the one I can't see. Because he's up in Nigiganti. Nigiganti! That's the name. Right. This is the largest one. Start with these ones. Yeah. Azir, Raphalos, and Diablos. So you've already seen these models. These are just based slightly differently. Um, in order to help people, oh, reflection on my screen. In order to help people see um, the colour difference, there's actually a symbol here. Anyway, bloop, bloop, bloop. Maybe again to the Ostra. This is the main boss of World. The original world, I think. I think there might have been one after this, which was... I don't remember. It was a bigger monster. They're usually a much bigger monster, but this, these are the Elder Dragons. Here's a glimpse of the box of Elder Dragons. And then his... The Hunter's Arsenal, which is, I think... Has one, two, three, four, five, six... Hunters in it and all their associated cards. I need to stop pointing that sort of thing. I'm fairly sure my mic is behind for all the boxes I just placed, so sorry if my my voice is certainly not getting picked up as well. Could not put but we're getting to your strike. But we'll start with Hunters Arsenal. Where let's move these boxes out of the way of my mic. Where did I put my scissors? You might not actually be hearing me doing this because um, I've got a noise gate on my mic to stop picking up my fish tank. It's the noise you hear a lot of the time when I'm talking. There's something for anyone who gets the need to go to the toilet um, when watching me. This is Arsenal. So, who am I going to use to get the uh, previous boxes out? These two are going to be my height adjustment. So, just the camera. Hunters Arsenal! Oh, 
these are for the hunter's horn musical notes rule book specifically for the type these are for the bits basically these dictate what you as a hunter want to get for your weapons and Jeff parts, Raffalos parts, Toby Gatry parts for the long sword forging board reference that's what you get for which creature Black Diablos in this one I think it's Black Diablos yep or as he's called Diablos Nero oh the card I thought we were showing them one two three four five six so we got a another another point where I need to change everything Heavy bow gun. You can tell because he has to use two hands. Lance gun. Which is a lance with bullets in it. And also you get a shield. Very slow moving. It's alright when you get it. Oh, it's got a little pendant. Uh, glaive there. He's a little wonky. Long sword. This is my so I tend to like bowgun. Um but the long blade is my second preferred weapon. Um especially when I have to go hunting solo and I'm still trying to cut things off creatures. Hammer! I can't tell you what they're wearing in terms of the costumes. Um, it does have the detail. It does have detail, but uh, no idea. I think this is a Raffalos hammer, though, based on the spikes or a Ravian. Hunting horn. I think he's wearing the Pookie Pookie gear. I quite like the Pookie Pookie gear. I use um, Hunter Rise. I used the Pookie Pookie gear as my what's it called? The one that you wear over the top of the others. The appearance based one, just because it makes me think that I'm a stealthy hunter. I'm not always a stealthy hunter. Lance. Doesn't have bullets on it. As a shield. I counted 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, 22 hunters in this set. Is there 22 weapons? No, there was about three copies of several of them. So you can have. But I think three swords and shields and three double bladers at least on your party if you want it. Gestro. He is now the dragon. He is the one that can do the giant fire explosion that insta kills you. And I think that's why people don't like him. He can do that very quickly. I know he's missing from the set, and who I would love to see come out in um, Iceborn, and it is, uh, I forget his name, but everyone calls him the Pickle. I think his name's something like Diablos. We're back to being Diablos. Sorry, I had the light. I would put like a blocker here, but then you wouldn't see anything at all. Ah, so this. Oh. Yeah, this definitely would help from me having a camera that focuses. Auto. 
I can try letting it do it itself. I'm not. I'm, I'm just really not sure. So these are. What well, does it say? But there's a light green and there's a dark green, and these are either things you can find or there are ailments from Theostra. More weapon cards. Probably the cards that you can get from getting Teostra parts. And then his moves. First one's flamethrower. Lots of fur on him. Basically a uh, lion. Fire lion. Messed with my uh, exposure there. Got a nice bushy tail as well. It's interesting when you look at the models and you can see where areas have been put together. So I'm pretty sure uh, this part of his head was put on and it wasn't part of the original world because you can see where the lines are. But it doesn't look too bad. You can, it's it's very nice. And where it is added, you can hardly tell. And once you get paint on, you won't be able to notice at all. The only problem is when I have to put the wings on. Apparently, I'm not going to let that go. It seems. I realised in the previous one that I'm talking about them a bit too much. Um, it may not be what you come here for when you come to an, uh, an unboxing. Just want to see everything that come out of the box. Maybe even some more details on the box. Actually, is this going to have art on it? Just have a few pieces of art. Oh, uh, you can do arenas. That's what the alternative quests are. The Austria fighting and the Neggy. Yeah, I just I just turn them into the much smaller version. Fire Lion, Neggy, Torby. Actually, T Ostra isn't too bad to say in comparison. Neg again today. Doing this, I'm afraid I'm going to dump the box underneath, but sometimes you need to to get to the... I need a little bit to get it started. It doesn't make it any less shiny. But yeah, you've got quite a bit of detail on the back of what's inside the box. You won't be able to see that. Oh yeah, so this one's got black scale dust dark in it. What was the ostrich? Black scale dust tokens. So they've used two different tokens for the same thing. But so you can tell which creature it is using it. I suppose if you bought them, if you didn't buy Neggy, then. You would still need these tokens, but for the other, for the Ostra. Spiky boy. So. Cards. More damage cards. Charging bludgeon. And maybe he requires me to put his wings on. Already in fear. One of them's going to have to go on. Quite well. 
You know what? When he's not got his wings on, if you ignore the horns, he looks like a deaf, deaf claw from Fallout. Lots of spikes. That is going to rely a lot on um, fading to get the colour right. His, his entire back ridge is actually a separate part to his body. You can see the joins in the different areas. There's actually a hole between one side and the other, I think. If you look in the, that hole. like a hole a smaller hole in there you can't actually see it that comes out in this wing hmm. right This is going to go here, I think. I'm going to have to wiggle the back end in. Just to rinse it in. The back is not. So it went and snapped. Sounded like it did, I didn't like that sound. Crack potentially here now. No, no. It's not a crack, it's an old crack that. Looking at it. I think it's just where the the um, plastic is sat. Let's see if we have a chance to get this one in. Do I have to put the back in the bottom in first? How does this one go in? Because I've got to get around this snub in here. This one hasn't gone at all. If you get the top end, they can't get the bottom end in. There we go. Nope, it's still a massive gap at the front. Do anything to get the back in if I get the front in. And I just pop out the front. I managed to pop his tail out of the base. Trying to get the wings in. 
Maybe that was the snap I heard earlier for the, the um, blue in his base going or something. I'm actually getting warm from trying to get the wings on these these guys. Because of the amount of movement I'm having to do. <laughs> if I had a display case, I would put these on and never take them off. Well, his top, the top of his wing's gone in. The bottom hasn't. A gap on this one. His wings won't fall off, I don't think. Better not sit down too much. Sure. Yeah, so his, his, his tail's become slightly detached. <sighs> Death girl with wings. Now I have to take the wings off. Yeah, like I said, this the fact that it takes effort to get them on or not. I understand them needing to stay on, so they need to be, you know, awkward in that sense. How did these come up here? But if they're so awkward that you um that you can't actually get them on the model without a lot of messing on. Is it worth it anymore? I, I honestly don't remember how these went in here. No, that's a bit better. Let me see, I want to be ready for this. Right, they were definitely like this, and they were like this. I'm going to have to look back on my own recording to figure out how these wings were in this box. I can't put the lid back on this until I figure that out, so um, let's just move on. So I probably won't get these ones out because I'm pretty sure the moulds are just the same. Like I said, the only difference will be, I think, um, the colour of the material. So zero Raffles will be blue rather than grey black Raffles. Back black Diablos will be darker. There's the uh, black logo. The feet are the same though, they're going to both require wings. But... See if they have. Yeah, they've given these. So, so far, the only one who hasn't had a tray dedicated to where his wings go is Teostra. No, negative. Neg neg so, yeah, you can see the exact same model. Just... He's made out of a blue material as his base. I still would base paint these because you don't know how well your paint is going to um, attach to the plastic. 
wonder if his wings will wonder if this one else wings will go in any better just the all the bits. So his wings in, it's not in fully. This wing here doesn't feel like it's aligned properly so I think this I mean the fork is right. So it's a it's the same thing. So you see here. Maybe. He's got this, this sort of collection on him. And if you look at this here, you see it's got a shape. Now we can those two shapes go together. But it's not, it's just this here, it's not quite aligned with the nib here, where I would have thought it goes if it's been attached slightly wrong. I will have to, I, I am going to look for a guide or something to tell me how the wings are supposed to be put on. I've forgotten which wing I got out. <clears throat> like I said, it won't fall off, but you can't get them on very fast. I'm not going to pull the up, so like I said, they're pretty much the same mould down to the wings. Right, so there's just one more box to open, and that is the biggest model in this entire set, which is Kushladora, which is the wind producing Ancient Dragon. That was probably his wings moving, because he does have wings too. Is his base moving. So surprisingly, Kushidora has his wings already attached. And he's also. Is this elastic? He's actually attached to his. his wing. So I don't know what. I guess because he's on his arm, they decided they could do. But aha! He does have a piece not attached. He's definitely missing his tail, which is behind his right wing. First rule book in his box. He's supposed to be attached to this base. That's what this. If I... He's fallen off his base. You can see the glue in the holes. Is that glue? I don't even know if it's glue or plastic in those holes. But he's fallen off. He's like properly fallen off his base. Let's see. We've got little little sort of arrows on the back. Bumpy, so can I get them off you, Dina? Oh, 
here since we're chopping them off the ends. I'll chop them off at the end. You don't need to chop the both ends at the end. Unless it is both ends. Actually. There's enough give in these that I can just... There's enough give on this. It might actually be better to cut them here. Got one around his neck as well. There's probably a way you can take these off without having to cut them, but take them off the packaging. Oof. Ripples. Ripples. And then his tail. Uh, let's see. Which way around is the tail supposed to go? It does actually have a shape to it. Where? It doesn't fit perfectly, but like I said, it doesn't matter as long as it fits mostly perfectly. The drawing's there. You can hardly tell. You can tell there's a drawing there. It's not sticking out. There's wings. Got his overly detailed mouth again. Hello. Kind of like a ribcage here. Yeah, he makes. He's the biggest one. Biggest model. And I was expecting. To be honest, like I said, I, in my head I was expecting them to be much bigger, but then I had to remember that they are for board games. So they have to fit on your tips and be reasonably easy to move around. Yeah, he should be on that base. <laughs> so, in actual fact, what's happened here is his pins have snapped on his feet. So you know how I said if you cut these off you can probably get to the and push them out. You would actually be cutting off the pins that go into them as well. Um which in this case have snapped. If I if I flatten his feet off, I might be able to glue them myself. Or it might just freestand. I'm pretty sure his tail is yeah, his tail's on like a similar level. So he's like fairly stable. He's not like as stable as he could be. Um, but he'll stand. He'll stand perfectly fine. It actually makes it easier to hold him in terms of like getting around him. And then also I can look at the best. But yeah, that's a shame. That's he's the best big model in terms of like the parts that. Are not attached to him, attached quite easy. Um, but his bed's damaged. He just has the number three. But yeah, I think that's a real. Ow. Sorry, please don't hurt me. Oh, I guess I'll just leave you with this guy's beaming face and say thank you for watching this unboxing. Um, if I find out that I was doing the, uh, wings right wrong i'm sure i'll tell you but for now thank you for coming
Welcome to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw and want some more, hit the subscribe button to get notifications for new uploads, or dive into our current backlog through the videos and playlists popping up on the screen. Help me and the channel grow with a like and a comment, and consider checking out the social links in the description below. Finally, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.